This is the Death Blind Potter Show, and my name is Kelvin Crosby, and I am the Death Blind Potter. And if you're here to live beyond your challenges, you're at the right spot. So let's go on this journey and live beyond our challenges. So good to see you, even though I can't see you. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood, and I'm so excited that you are here at the Deaf Blind Potter Show. I'm your host, Kelvin Crosby, also known as the Deaf Blind Potter. And I'm excited about today. And man, I gotta get this hiccups out of my throat. It would help me. But um, yeah, so I got an awesome guest today. And he he's a good friend of mine. He he got his own show. And I think for today's topic, it is so timely because literally in three hours, the polls will close. And the question is, will the internet go down? Will the world go on, catch on fire? Or will we put our faith in something more powerful than no president, no human being, no other person, but the almighty God. Well, let me introduce you to my guest, my good friend, the Vin Dog. How you doing, man? Woo! <laughs> man. So, I, I'm excited that you're here, man. Because honestly, when you're, people are on your show, you have these conversations, these hard conversations about what's going on to society and how do you look at that from the vision of God? Because at the end of the day, you got to see what God is doing in the nasty. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what God meant to use for evil, what, what the devil meant to use for evil, God uses for good. And I'm curious, man, from your perspective, and for, before we do that, why don't you tell who you are? What do you do? Do you pick your nose all day? Or what? what, what, what is it? Well, I pick my sunglasses all day. Um, <laughs> that's what I do, man. Um, actually, uh, I'm Vin. Um, I am a uh, follower of Jesus Christ. Been a Christian for a long time. Um, got saved when I was in high school. Um, but I did fall off the wagon quite a few times in my life. And uh, we still do it right this day. God knew that we were going to, uh, you know, have our little ups and downs mm-hmm. in the middle of all of it. And uh, I had a nice career in the broadcast field of radio, and I still do podcasting right this day. And um, I just deliver the goods for Jesus, man. Um, And I also like uh, talking about what's going on in the world and plus here in America as people around the world are saying, hey, what's going on in your country? You guys are like burning down and we see it from the outside looking in. And man. You guys need to get a hold on it. Your country needs Jesus. Amen. I'm amen. And one other thing is, Vin Dog is also visually impaired. That's so right. he's the brother of the of another mother that's visually impaired. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so, um, what what's interesting is when when Vin Dog and I first got it started, I was on your show multiple times and did did my thing. And then I'm like, all right, we, we got to get you on my show. We got to do find a spot for you in, in the deaf, blind, potter world. And I was like, no better way to have this conversation that no Donald Trump, no crazy lady on vice president, Camilla, or your mama, you know, um, I mean, let's not get me started. And we <laughs> we gotta be careful, people. We gotta be careful. We're not here to attack. No, we're not we're... here to attack Bob Marley. <laughs> oh man, don't get me off my rocker, man. Don't get me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> see, you can tell that Ben Dog and I. We've had many common phone calls. He helps me with my live streams on Sunday nights. And I tell you, if you're not checking out the Sunday Night Live. At 6 o'clock Pacific time, that's mountain time, that is 7 o'clock your time. And I tell you, we are changing lives 
for the glory of God. Amen. And Ben Dog is helping me with the controls on the back end. So all that to say, let's get into today's topic, and that is there is no president, no human being that can save you from the nasty of this world. So when I say that to you, Vin Dog, what does that mean? Like like when you say like oh wait, wait, wait. Could uh Taylor Swift be my hero, my savior? Oh no, not even Travis Kelsey, bro. So that's the end of at the end of the day is who really can save us from all the disgusting things happening on this earth. Jesus on in the United States of America. Jesus. So my my question to you is how do we get our vision, our sight on that? First of all, we need to do this number one thing as a nation. We need to repent. That's the first thing we need to do. We See, need I'm to so repent. jealous. <laughs> and he has all the fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we need to repent and atone for our iniquities as a country, as individuals. You know, it, it, it's always good to throw, you know, mudslinging, uh, you know, for people. It's easy to do that, right? Because that's a part of the flesh. Mm -hmm. But mudslinging doesn't solve anything. I mean, you know, I know we get we're guilty of calling people tards and mm -hmm. republicrats and libtards and and all that other stuff. But at the end of the day. We need to understand that these people are still living in the flesh, most of them. Yep. And they don't know any better that, yeah. you know, Hey, cause I was once ignorant before I got saved. Mm -hmm. So we have to actually extend all of branches to these people, plant seeds because at the end of the day, we're all guilty of sin. Yeah. So we have to, uh, we have to understand how they got there, how they got to where they are. And, and that's because of the, you know, drive through media. Mm -hmm. Or as I like mm -hmm. to call it, drive-by media like Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> um, it's a drive-by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Shots fired, right? <laughs> so that, you know, legacy media has destroyed the minds of people because it's all about the mind control media. And, yeah. and that's why we're in the mess that we're in right now. Because they were a part of the plan of pulling God out of society. And once you pull yeah. God out of society, you have total disruption. Yeah. What we're experiencing today. And, you know, I get it. People want to vote for someone, but you and I have talked about this. We have noticed that people that we know are like really punching it to the engine mm -hmm. as like he's the savior. And yeah. he's even said he's not a savior. No. He said he's not. He goes, I just want to be used by God. He even said that uh, last night at one of his last rallies. Mm -hmm. And well, he said, I hope God has chosen me to, you know, to help make this country better again. Yeah. See, well, stay knows. tuned. When we come back, we're going to dive more into this. So see you on the other side. Who do you think is going to save you? Do you think the devil? Do you think Donald Trump is? Do you think Mama Harris? Do you think any human being is going to save you? You're listening to the Death Line Potter Show. My name is Kevin Cosby. And I'm telling you right now, there is nobody going to save you but Jesus Christ himself. And I got my guest, Vin Dog, on the, on the line. And I tell you, Vin Dog, you were diving right into it. So I'm going to let you take it from right there. Yeah, like I was saying before, you had to hit the heart out for the break. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what they call it in radio. Um, that just shows you my experience, my, my experience <laughs> right there, man. Um, you know, people have to understand that he even knows that he wants to be used by God. He even said it last night. Not, and I thought that was really cool because he's putting it into perspective. Hey, look, we're in a mess. This We can't get out of this mess without God. This, yeah. Without God, this country is toast. And, and yep. he knows that. Yep. He wants, and, and that's, that's incredible that someone wants to be used by God to put this country back on track to where it needs to be, right? Yeah, but we all know at the end of the day that whatever God's plan is, and we know the plan, if you read his word, it's going to come to fruition regardless of what happens yeah. at the end of the day. So yeah. 
We just need to be really focused on sharing the gospel with people. We need to be focused on, you know, loving our neighbors and, and, and sharing with them because, bro, they don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I've talked to people that don't even know who Jesus is. Yep. And I'm like, are you serious? But I have to remember the way everything has been desensitized in society as far as like, uh, you know, media and the movie industry and all this other stuff. Yes, it is easy to get lost in the sauce in, in this yeah. world and not know who God is. So, mm -hmm. you know, we just we just really need to be a light inside of this dark and evil world that we live in, because right now Satan's holding the deed to the world. And mm -hmm. we know that Jesus is going to come and take that deed away from him real quick. So yep. until then, we just have to continue to stand in the gap, fighting the good fight and just finish the race high strong. Amen. I mean, I think that's where if you see, if, if you can see what I see, which I wish I can give people my vision. Mm -hmm. Because what I see is revival coming. And it's not in a president. Mm -mm. It's not in the House or the Senate. Mm -mm. It's not in the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. What it is in, though, it is in one soul at a time. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, if you can see the demonic spirits moving around, they're moving like mad right now. They're moving like on fire. Yep. Because they're trying to they're trying to penetrate every last soul they can possibly get mm -hmm. before the revival happens. Mm -hmm. And this is where are you ready to be a part of this movement for Christ? And take your hope in human and put it in Christ. Because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Mm -hmm. It's not your spouse. It's not your kids. It's not your parents. It is truly just you and Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, as we get closer to the polls closing tonight, we're realizing that we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And for a lot of us, that's unresting, that unnerving, that is worrisome. Mm. And when I say that to you, Vin Dog, what do you find yourself feeling? Because I'm curious, like from your perspective, knowing what you know, is tomorrow kind of wor a little worried? Are you well, worried about tomorrow? Well, honestly, um, I did at first. I did for a while. But um, I went to the Lord in prayer and I just in that and when I was praying, it reminded me of he is still in control regardless of what happens. And whoever is going to be on the other side of this, there's still going to be some type of chaos and people have mm -hmm. to prepare themselves for that mm -hmm. because the devil is going to continue to work his minions overtime. Yeah. And somebody made a good comment the other day on uh, one of the podcasts I did. And they said, well, you know what? The devil's minions, they clock in, but they never clock out. So they're not yeah. working. They're working. They're they're not clocking yep. out. And, and we see that. Yeah. So when it all comes down to it, we just have to be really solid in yeah. prayer and, and encouraging others around us. And, you know, they, they might not buy into what we're saying right away. Mm -hmm. And. And that's unfortunate because most of it, it will be your family members that won't buy into that very much. Yeah. They will say, man, you're one of those kooky uh, cultic Christians. Yeah. Well, guess what? I'd much rather be one of those, be called one of those. Like the Apostle Paul said, I'd much mm -hmm. rather be, you know, crazy for Christ, basically, than to be, you know, normal, so-called so normal, like the rest of society. Mm -hmm. Because the rest of society is going to continue to move on. They're going to continue to to uh, do what they're going to do. But while we're here, we must set the table mm -hmm. for Jesus because these Amen. people are a total, um, a bag of lost souls. And, and it's sad. Oh, yeah. sad to see it, but it's, it's reality. And yes, we do worry. 
That's why we have, uh, you know, friends that we have as accountability partners. We have uh, lifelines, you know, talking to one another. You, and you got to be around like minded people as believers. Yep. That is the only way you're going to be strengthened through all mm -hmm. of this. Uh, yep. You're not going to be strengthened going to the bar or, you know, <laughs> and all that stuff. Wait, you, you're saying you're saying the whiskey ain't going to help me out? And, no, and sorry. Get... The, the whiskey in your water is not going to help you. <laughs> not going to help you. <laughs> I, mean, I I I think what 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 is very interesting what you're saying, Ben Dog, is that as believers, it's a matter of where do you put your hope. Mm -hmm. Your hope is what sets you free. Because at the end of the day, hope requires faith, and faith requires joy in the challenging times. Mm -hmm. So if you if you add this up, so if we take Romans five three four. Also, so rejoice. The word first part of that is rejoice. The second part of that is suffer. Rejoice in your suffering. Okay, what? Why am I saying that? Because joy is not the same as happiness. Joy is a lifetime with Jesus, mm -hmm. and. Did Jesus come to this earth and have happiness? I'll be honest, cleaning the dirty feet of the disciples, that sounds like a smelly mess mm -hmm. and a little messy. But he did that because he loved and he had joy in his disciples. Mm -hmm. See, when we... And I, I had a conversation this morning with somebody, and I said, made this statement. I live in a state of suffering all day long. Yes. But the question is, is that state of suffering filled with joy or filled with sorrow? Mm. The question is, is your suffering that you are feeling about this election... This pain about this election filled with sorrow, hope that is failing you because you're putting it in human beings, or is it filled in joy because in Christ? Mm -hmm. So that way, the next part of that verse is perseverance. Mm. If you put your hope in somebody, a human being, it goes from joy to suffering. It goes. It goes from su suffering to sorrow, to the deep pits of depression, anxiety, fear. Or it, but if you put it, your joy in your suffering and you persevere, nothing you know. Fear, false evidence appearing real. Exactly. I like that. I like that. That was a good one. Yeah. And and I, I think I think as we go through this season, we don't know if the internet is gonna go out tonight. We don't know if the white caps are gonna do their thing. We don't know if the the ballots are gonna be destroyed. We don't know are we really going to have a certified election? We don't know any of that. Mm -hmm. But when we worry on that, that's when the devil is taking one strangle on you. Yeah. And you're losing control. Mm -hmm. So, how would you have control in this season that we're in because we are walking through a season that is very scary. Yep. That is why we must put on the breastplate of righteousness, stay into the word. And a verse that sticks out to me in the book of Romans is Romans eight, six living life in the flesh equals death. But if you live in the spirit, it equals life and eternal peace. Amen. Come on. That's where we need to be at folks. Yep. We need to be living in a spirit because mm -hmm. when we're holding on to the things of this world, that's where we lose control. Yeah. Total control. 
Yeah. Because we're counting on our flesh to fulfill our needs. And and that can be very, very dangerous mm -hmm. in lots of ways. So yeah. we must, like I said before, we must gather together as believers and you know, sometimes you got to have a little uh, a meeting phone call or, you know, a FaceTime, however you guys do it. Or, you know, meet up at a restaurant for coffee or something. You know, I mean, this is what we need to do. Because I'm telling you, a, a, a legendary pastor said it best. He says, you know, never forsake the gathering. Of course, that's what the Bible says. But he says, remember, he believed that the churches... We're going to end in the homes. So we got to get together and start mm -hmm. putting life groups together and just, you know, really, yep. really, really buckle down and share with neighbors that don't know Jesus too at the same time. Yep. That's what we need to do. And share I think the gospel. That, that, you, you said something really, really crucial there. What is a house church? Because at the end of the day, house churches is what's going to create revival. Mm-hmm. And we, if we look at scripture and we look at when the apostles were coming in, that's all they had was house churches. Yep. And they had to be in secret. The underground church. Just like in China right now, there are underground right. churches. Mm -hmm. Just like in Iran and Afghanistan and all those other places. And I, I tell you, this is why we as Christians can't put our hope in Donald Trump. We can't put our hope in Mama Harris. We Come can't. <laughs> we're, we're just we can rip on that one all day long. Oh, but at the end of the day, is that truly a good idea? I don't, no. I don't think so. But I, but we can't put our hope into the thing that we think that is what God and what the world wants us to do. Mm -hmm. The only thing, and and we think about when the, the if we think about the persecuted church, but let's start there. How do they continue to live? Well, we have a good example from Apostle Paul mm -hmm. when he was persecuted. Same as Peter. The same as with some of the other disciples. The church got stronger. Yep. So when we come back, I'm going to explain to you, and Vindal's going to help me do this. How do we have joy when everything around us is falling apart? And where do we put our hope? See you on the other side. It is well with my soul. When I think about that hymn, it's the hymn of a man who lost all his kids. And his wife went completely bankrupt and realized all he could do is write that hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. Is it well with your soul right now? Are you willing to release your soul to Jesus right now? In this season. You're listening to the Death Blind Potter Show. My name is Kevin Crosby. And we're listening on the 1360. On the AM dial. On the AM dial on KHNC. And. I tell you. There's something so powerful. Knowing that God has it all. Under his control. Vin Dog is my guest today. We're going to work our way up the hour. And Vin Dog, when you think about this season and it says it is well with my soul in this season, how do you get there? Because if we look at the persecuted church, they have to say this song to go to jail. It is well with my soul. How do you get there? Man, it's it, it's a t it's a tough crawl before you can walk yep um we were to pick up our cross and follow christ right mm -hmm. that's part of part of being well with the soul um i know a lot of people personally that are believers and they'll sing the song but they really don't feel it yeah 
they really don't have it embedded into their into their hearts you know and that that's the thing where we need to help one another on i mean Mm -hmm. because we have to make sure our souls are well because the unfortunately well actually as a believer it's good to say this the worst is coming yep but the best is going to happen for us we're not working towards the end like the world is the world is working towards the end to uh, to total damnation mm-hmm. but we as believers we are working towards the beginning because the new life is going to be greater than anything Man. you have ever had as a gift before in your life Amen. that you're living now yep you and i both get eyeballs yeah, you know there was a a a, a hymn writer uh, from back in the day. Her name was Fanny Crosby. Yep, she was totally blind. A pastor, her pastor asked her, "Hey, would it be great if you can get your vision right now?" She goes, "No, I I, I want to have I I want to see the first thing I ever want to see is the Lord Jesus." Mm-hmm. Wow, and I and I guarantee you she got that man. Yeah, she got there. One she totally got there, because you know she wrote some of the best, most of the best hymns. Yeah, she wrote over seventeen thousand hymns, bro. That's a lot of hymns. <laughs> that's a lot of hymns. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, if that's not inspirational to someone out there, everybody goes, "Oh, mm-hmm. you know, Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles." I'm like, dude, Fanny Crosby, bro. Yeah, Fanny what? Crosby. She might be one of your relatives. From back. Uh, I, I, I I we there, I know somebody done some work on that. I don't. I haven't heard the results on that one. Oh yeah, um, you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, because I don't want to go do the whole genetic test. No, you don't need stuff. to do that to do to find out if it was a relative or not. Yeah, that's that's the you know that's the evil devils trying to tell you. <laughs> you know. So if you want to get more of that, you got to go to Ben Dog's show because he he'll get some exposed the darkness in ways that one i don't know if you can even do on radio uh but at the same time he's exposing the darkness so that what you can see and i think that's something that we're trying to do right now is help you understand going into this season and we take our eyes off donald trump being our savior kamala Harris. I can't even say that word, but Me neither. It, 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 it's difficult. Yeah, or any government to be the savior. If we take our eyes off of that and focus on what is going to make our soul well with Him, when everything crashes, and. When I think about somebody that getting arrested for Jesus, they made that choice to follow him and they decided to pick up the cross. But at the same time, they're singing the song. Mm-hmm. It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well. We're, we're, we're gonna stop. We're, we're both talking. Yeah, to guys. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you not a finger, guys. <laughs> but at, at the end of the day, there's something so powerful when, in a moment of distress, a moment of difficulty, a moment where you can be fully comfortable in the hope of Christ, but to get there means that you have to work on your relationship. Amen. I mean, Vin Dog, when you think about for you to get to that point in your relationship with Christ, how did, how did you get to that point to say, I can't embrace this suffering, this pain, this difficulty? Well, I looked at the sufferings of the prophets and the apostles in the Bible, mm-hmm. and I realized Daniel, Paul, Peter, and others, man, they went through worse things than we've went through, than we have had to go through. Mm -hmm. They went, well, Paul and Peter went on to the point of death. Yep. 
And so did the other disciples and apostles. Mm -hmm. And think about what happened to the Christians in Rome, Mm -hmm. man. And think about what are happening to Christians in India, Mm -hmm. China, all other places around the world where you will be zapped yep. for even saying that you're a Christian. If they catch you with a Bible, you can go to jail or it is on to death. Mm-hmm. That is why in 20, by 2028, this is a, this was a statistic done by a really smart think tank group a few years ago by 2028, China is going to be very in, inconsequential as a, as a superpower because of one thing, because of God. Over 300 million people that live in China will be Christians. 300 million. That's a lot of people. Yeah. And these people are seeing the fruit that they're going to bear in the new life. And they are willing to make that sacrifice for Christ and we have people here in America who have it really good mm-hmm. that won't surrender. And I asked someone, hey, what is it going to take for someone to actually surrender to Jesus? And they said pain. Yeah. Well, America has not experienced the, the pain. And that's me- and that's unfortunate. You want to wait till pain is ensued upon you in order to accept Jesus as your savior? Yeah. When we come back, we're going to see how we can take this pain and have hope on the other side. See you on the side. Hey, it's Kelvin Crosby, the Deaf Blind Potter. You're listening to 1360 AM on the KHNC channel. And I tell you, I got an awesome guest, Ben Dog. And I tell you, we're going down the conversation that Donald Trump isn't your savior. Mama Harris isn't either. No government is your savior. The question is, then who is your savior? So as we were going to the break, we were talking about pain. What is it going to take for Americans to come back to Jesus? And that was pain. And so Vin, I, I, want, I, want, I want you to finish that thought because honestly, we had to go to the break. So kind of finish that thought. So when... That dude told me, he said, pain is what it's going to take. And I said, unfortunately, that is so true. Because people are like, oh, no, he's going to say that we were spoiled. Man, compared to what other people are going through in other places around the world, we are totally spoiled. Mm -hmm. Why is it that people want to wait for super amounts of pain to be inflicted upon them and the rest of their fellow Americans in order to get right with Jesus. It's because it is a part of our human nature. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes to being in the flesh instead of living by the, in the fruits of the spirit. Mm -hmm. People are so enamored by an individual People are so enamored by worldly possessions. Mm -hmm. People want the fast cars, the jets, you know, everything, the women, blah, 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 blah. And that stuff only lasts for a moment, Mm -hmm. but they don't see that. They want it now. We live in a society where people want want it now, people. I I want want it now. now. But I'm telling you, when folks are thinking like that, and their mentality just keeps on, you know, fading them further away from the way, which is Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we need to really take a step back as a country and say, Hey, wait a minute, we are living good, but we need to take a step back and say, Hey, you know what? This stuff does not matter at the end of the day. What matters is a legacy that we leave for the future, Mm -hmm. for the children's future Mm -hmm. so that they can be strengthened and not fall back like we have in today's society. Yeah. Yeah. The world is falling Mm -hmm. and, and, and I guarantee you, we as a country, we're not helping it. It's crumbling even more. Yeah. When I think one of the biggest things that we really have to keep our eyes on, how do you want to suffer? 
Because at the end, the suffering is coming, whether you like it or not. Mm-hmm. And as Vin Dog and I, we have experienced, we have experienced that suffering is a form of being able to be able to have a hope in Christ and joy in every single situation. I mean, if you ever met somebody that lives in a state of suffering all the time, they're and they have a relationship with Jesus. You find them in a, you find them always in a position where they can move in ways that that mm. in a lot of ways people can't fathom. People look at me and they say, "Kelvin, you shouldn't be doing what you're doing." Well, because I have joy, mm-hmm. and. When things get uncomfortable, I don't go have a pity party. I say, God, help me through this. Amen. And that's what it's going to take for you to deal with this season tonight. Tonight, there's going to be a lot of lies. Mm Mm-hmm. They're going to have a lot of stir up. And some of you are going to be glued to that TV or listening to KHNC 1360. Wondering what's next. What's next? My encouragement to you is to lay your head on the pillow and ask God, give me peace tonight so that tomorrow I can have joy. Amen. Because if you wake up tomorrow with peace in your heart and joy to move forward, tomorrow will be a day of revival for you. Mm. Not worry. So, Vin Dog, as I want people to know kind of your platform and what you do, um, we got one more segment after this. And um, I want I want people to understand why did you start your ministry, your platform, and why did you do that? Mm. Oh, you want to know now? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Well, <laughs> you know when twenty twenty happened, I was still doing radio, and I was kind of in the top of the heat when I was doing radio. I was on I was on three radio stations, three major markets. And and in uh, March of 2020, when all this stuff started to go down, the Lord was re- the Holy Spirit was really tugging on my heart. And I had a friend that says, "Hey, man, I want to inv- invest into a podcast, and I I know a guy that's going to be a great host for it because he knows how to tell the truth and he loves God." And I said, "Oh, cool, man. Just let me know who that guy is." He calls me co- uh, two weeks later. Says, "Oh, you're the guy." <laughs> and i was like okay so i'm the guy that's fine all right so april 20th of that year i started my first podcast episode and it was called the missile launch and i uh did that podcast and i'm like you know what this is i kind of do like this because i love talk radio kind of format so mm-hmm. i started doing that and then i was still doing radio in the process and my last day, I kid you not, was July 4th, 2020. Well, stay radio. tuned. When we come back, you get to hear the rest of the story. See you on the other side. It's the Death Blind Potter Show. I'm your host, Kelvin Crosby. We're wrapping up our show. And I got Vin Dog, and he's going to end that last part of his story and tell you where you can find Vin Dog on all of the platforms. So, Vin Dog, take it away. Yeah, July 4th, 2020 was the last and final day of me doing uh, Top 40 Radio. And I said, you know what? I have a YouTube channel, so let me just get my Vindog Radio for Jesus YouTube channel going. And so I have my Vindog Radio YouTube channel, and it's actually grown ever since I started uh, turning it to do for ministry. And we do talk a little bit of politics and, you know, current events and things that are happening around the world. And it's kind of cool for other people that are visually impaired to see that folks like you and I are doing things to edify the Lord Mm -hmm. and we're standing tall 
And uh, yes, you can also find me on uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, at Vindog Radio USA. You can find me on Getter at Vindog Radio USA, on Rumble, and also on Instascam at Vindog Radio. Um, but <laughs> Kelvin, you know how I do it, bro. Um, and there's a podcast that's the title. It's called The Kennel Podcast. You can find that on Podbean and wherever you show download podcast also. Um, it's not up to date yet, but we're going to put it up to date soon on the uh, audio side. But we're also going to uh, start producing video casting, too. And it would be great if you support my brother, Kelvin, and myself and our ministries, because we are really trying to give people hope because there yeah. is hope. You turn to Jesus, things will turn around for yeah. the greater good of his glory. Amen. Amen. And I think this is why, like... I think I'm going to be bringing you back on more and more as we go into this season. I think it's really important that people start seeing that there is hope Mm -hmm. and that we really, really start thinking about how can we live beyond today's challenges? If we can live beyond today's challenges Mm. with hope in Christ and he gives us joy through that, that's where everything's going to be nice and tight. Amen. I mean, it, 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 it's like, it's almost like a, a gift that we get. Hallelujah. It's, it's like a gift that when we accept Jesus into our lives, we, we get a, We get something that is truly a gift that transform our lives. For Jesus. And exactly. So one other announcement, you're going to be doing, you're going to uh, the end of the world conference with uh tom hughes uh this weekend so yes sir in temecula and, california so you're gonna want to check out his stuff so you're gonna be interviewing a lot of end time prophecy people um and different things on the live stream so you're gonna be doing a lot of live streaming this uh next well, this yes weekend. our technical director peter said it's gonna be some records being set this weekend <laughs> yep yep and uh shout out to peter though Man, you, mm-hmm. you're a lifesaver. Mm-hmm. But again, I tell you, I'm so excited that you were here with us, with me and Vendog. And if you haven't checked out Vendog, check out Vendog on all the platforms. And he will encourage you, but give you hope. And as I always say to you, go live beyond your challenges. And I will see you next Tuesday.